Hey folks, Black Cross here. Welcome back to Okami. Alright then guys, so let's go ahead and get these treasure chests all melt away to where we can go ahead and get the riches that's inside. Okay, there's one. There's two. Again, these are all just treasures at this point, but... If they're items, I'm going to grab them regardless. This stuff will help me. What it will. Come to think of it, now that we got that, uh, orb fire thing activated, now we can go ahead and, uh, melt away that one thing that was at the entrance. Alright then, where are you at? Right there you are. Okay, so you give us treasures now. Nice. Got quite a bit of stuff here. I I I didn't mean to, but that was good. Nice. Alright then, that's pretty much all the items that I saw that I needed to get to. So now we're going to go back and finish up that appetizer. Guess what, my dear chefy friend? We got your ingredients. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients. It was nothing. Anyway, we're kind of in a hurry. <laughs> With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart, and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Ugh, that looks toxic. <laughs> Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out the maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. This shall make the main course kushki taste thousand times better. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Ekamron Bell. That shall harden the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melody bell shall draw open the curtains on a Ro Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Okay, this is the part where I think to myself, should I use that now? Oh, cannot be used right now. Okay. I was just thinking to myself, is like, we could probably pour that in there and just sneak it in. You know, intoxicate them first. Did that not work? <laughs> At last! The meal is ready! 
Let the air cream bell ring out! Let it ring as many times as Lord Roshi has heads. Ringing the bell is normally my job. But seeing how you've been just itching to ring it all this time, I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring out with wild ambitions! So we already ranged it twice. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight. I know technically that's not how it works, but I'm just thinking. That definitely didn't work. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's a big plate right there. Guess we need to hurry up and get up there, huh? Is what we'll do. Phew! That was sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. There is something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? What? Are you insane? Oh, come on. Please! I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. What? We're just... We're just Lord Orochi's lowly underlings. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see that... See, see the throne room that bad? Uh, yeah. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want it to go that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. Were you really? That seems kind of low. Let's see here. Ooh, we have a merchant friend. Let's see. Just in case. Considering we're fighting Orochi, this might be a big battle here, so might want to be prepared for the uh for the for the worse, I guess. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. We need to go here. There we go, much better. Up we go. Epic staircases. Oh, that must be the throne room. Ooh. Scary. Hey, 
A Amy, look over there. Well, this is just great. Oh, wild god of the heavens. A hundred years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? A hundred years in a cold, stony tomb. You reek of decay. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. I don't think that did anything. Had the barrier up. What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Verbal? This ain't good. Run, Kushki! Run! Hold it right there, foul serpent! Oh, now you decide to show up. Sasano? You came. I knew you'd come. Have no fear. Sasano is here! Orochi and I have a score to settle! Hops? Long have I awaited your coming. O oh, descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendant of Nagi have kept me in prison here for a hundred years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity! What the heck Serpent's Breath talking about? A blood pact with Sansano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pack. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi's trying to tempt Sasano! I bet that sneaky serpent has the one giving pops, those nightmares. Now, utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Reenact the words of our blood pact. Oh, I shall. I am the descendant of Nagi! Behold, Sasano, the greatest warrior who ever lived! Hear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm a helpless woman! Your time is up! 
feel the wrath of my trusty thorn! Uh, that thing's gonna break. What were you thinking? Foolish beast! Did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes within with my bloodline. If it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Glittering gold sake. Is that a purification sake, Amy? Sasano and Shkushki made a miracle happen. Time to work your magic, Amy! Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm! Quick, Amy! The sake! Shoot the eight purification sake right into Orochi's gaping mouth! What the heck are you doing? Shoot the eight purification sake right into Orochi's gaping mouth! Do you think I'm not trying to do that? It's working! Hee <laughs> hee! Take that, you big worm! Keep it going! Keep it coming, Amy! He's intoxicated now. Look! That's one down! Don't stop there! Let's get the other heads drunk too! Looks like that's got him. Wait, are we supposed to walk up there? For what reason, though? He ain't happy.
There we go. We're doing way more damage now. Well, they certainly ain't happy. Wait a second. The worm's down! Looks like that barrier has finally dissolved! And if that's the case, then you're free to finish Orochi up with your weapons and brush! Real quickly. Things are getting just a little bit crazy. Almost got him. There we go. The 
time has come. O oh, sacred moon of the heavens, come forth the pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Kinabuko! Did you just say moon? Right, the legend says the moon was shiny when Nagi sue Orochi. What to do here? Yeah, <laughs> little blossom, Sasano style blade of truth. Good! Will! Never! Give! In! Two! Evil! Finish it off, Amy! No, Fido. I don't need your help this time. Now for the ultimate in Sosano style martial arts! Celestial Cleaver! Hey, he actually did it! You did good. Dearest Kushki, just as you devoted your life to sake brewing, the way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, Sasano, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh! Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty so Divine Instrument Tasigiri Nice Okay, what the heck? Um Care to explain what just happened? And so it came to pass that a hundred years after his first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amashura and Sansano's onlash. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting, a powerful sword known as Tasigiri appeared. It was that it was the reborn form of Tasigimi which has been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amashura prepare for further adventure. 
At that moment, a mysterious evil forge emerged from Orochi's corpse, splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamigi found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it is just beginning. That's right, Amy! We're just getting started! I mean, we can't let a great adventure slip in like this. Now, give me one of those famous victory houses of yours. Yeah, because you robbed it last time. And there we go. At last. At last, the time has come. The unsevered bonds between heaven and earth. Waka. The institutions. The situation has grown urgent. You must return to the city at once. Tethabin. Amshura. You may have slain Orochi this time, but do not assume it will be so easy neck the next. Check out that starry sky! I know they're up there somewhere, my furry friend. Those constellations of the brush gods are just waiting to be found. Yeah, because there's way more to find. Whoa, that must have been one of the Tamaki fireworks! Wonder if the village already found out that Orochi's dead. Oh, I know! It must be the festival! They just started the annual Kamaki festival! Oh yeah! Time to party, Furball! Back to the village! Hurry! Yes, I would like to save. Because the video is practically over anyway, so... In the next video, we will continue on to see what happens next. Because obviously there's more to do, so... Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. This is Black Cross signing off. See you later, guys!